Hi, welcome to Give Care, the most simple and affordable self-hosted EHR solution for the clinics and private practices. In today's video, we are going to take a quick tour for the Kiwi Care free version, which will help you to kickstart your digital clinic in minutes. So let's begin with the Kiwi Care setup and software overview. So definitely, you need a WordPress latest version in your server. So if you don't know how to download it, you can check out our description. There will be a link for it. So let's start the installation for KiwiCare. So firstly, you will be logging into WordPress admin and you can see I have the latest version of WordPress here. Then we will go into this section of plugins and in the add new. Then you can go and search for the KiwiCare here. If you already have a zip, you can also directly drag it here and click on install now. The process will start for the installation and then don't forget to activate this plugin else it won't work. Then you can see there is one section added in our admin which is KiwiCare. So we will just click on it and it will take you to the main page of KiwiCare starting guide. So the first page that you will get is the KiwiCare welcome page where you will select the KiwiCare and click on next. Then the next thing is clinic details. So before starting a clinic, you should definitely have details of your clinic, like the name, address and all that stuff. So this is the place where you can fill up that. So we'll just quickly fill up the information for the clinic. The one important thing in it is the specialization section where you can select your specialization for the clinic from this drop down. And if you don't have the option, then you can simply write your specialization and just click on enter and your custom specialization will be added in it and it can be there for permanent so you can just select next time if you want to add it then the other things are just similar that you can just see and fill it then we will go to the next page which is our clinic admin information so you also need information for your admin so we'll just add the information like the name and all that stuff in it then we'll just click on confirm and you can see one pop-up has come up. So here, this is the demo data that we have added for you to understand KiwiCare. If you want this data, you can just select them all and click on finish. And if you don't want it, you can simply deselect just like I'm doing right now. And then also click on finish. And it will direct you to the main admin that is the master admin dashboard. And you can see this is the main dashboard that we get with the KiwiCare. Uh, there's the logo and all the side menus the login id and there is one remark on the top which is for the email server smtp so you have to set up your smtp before starting your email services for this patient and doctors and all of them so if you know how to do it you can simply go and do it and if you don't know then there is a question mark uh, icon next to this message you can just Click on it and you will get the video regarding the SMTP setup and you can check it out and understand how it is done. And this icon will be at many places in the whole KiwiCare. If you don't understand any section of KiwiCare, you can simply click on that icon and get the information by the video or documentation. So you can use it and it will make your work easy. And you can see below that we have the information about the patients, doctor appointment and all that. It's empty right now because we don't have any data into our KiwiCare. Then you can see we have the appointment, which is also empty because we haven't set up anything yet. So the appointment can't come here. Then you have encounter. So encounter is basically for the doctor and patient, but is also empty because there's no appointment in it. Then we have clinic. And beside clinic, there is written to pro. So in the pro version, KiwiCare has the option for the multiple clinics. So you can add multiple clinic from here. Right now it's blocked because it's the free version. You can get the pro and use it when you need. Then below that, you can see there is this red question mark beside doctor service and doctor session. So it is because you can't start the appointment service unless and until you have fill up this three information. So they are important. So we'll just first go into the doctor section and in that we will add a new doctor. So you can just click on this button and get the doctor. And you can fill up all the information that we can see here, like the name and all that stuff. Here also we have the specialization, which just works similar to that specialization. It is also known as view tagging system. It is very useful when you are adding some new stuff in your server. 
and then you can fill up other information like description and all that then we will just click on save and you can see our doctor has been added that is john murphy i have just added for the demo then our clinic is dental cure and we have specialization in root canal and teeth training you can just activate or deactivate the status of your doctor if he is available or not then we have edit option then we have many more options like telemed and deleting the doctor so you can check them out too then we have the receptionist so the whole kiwi care is a role based system there are many roles like patient doctor receptionist admin and the master admin if you are having a pro version so it is divided in the section if you have a small clinic you can work by the single module that is the doctor if you having a big firm then you can have the receptionist a doctor a different receptionist for different doctor and all that stuff in it you can manage it however you want and one more thing is we have the dashboard for all these roles and modules so we'll also see them one by one so before we will add a receptionist click on add receptionist and fill up the information that we have here i will just do it fastly and save it then you can see our receptionist is added which is claire shawn we are just giving the name so we can understand clear that we are working with receptionist or anyone because it get messy when you have too many of them then we have services so we will add a service for the doctors if a patient is coming to the clinic and if you have already listed your services that get easy for them to understand it so we will add a service to a doctor so from here you can select the service and you can also select multiple doctors or a single doctor depends on your firm then you have status you can activate or deactivate it and you also have the multiple selection while booking option for the patient if a patient is coming in they wants to get the two services done then they can select multiple if you have activated from here and you can just simply save this service and it will be added for the doctor in our service section i will just add one more doctor to understand it better so i will just go and quickly add a doctor this is all the same like before we have done so i will just skip fastly and the name for the doctor is this time is sasa then we will go into the service and we will add another service for the root canal and we will select both the doctor the before service was only for the one doctor now i am selecting both so you can see it has been added for both the doctor here in the service list and there are more option in the service list to activate the service edit the service and it can show the charges and all that stuff so if you have doctor in the clinic so you have to manage the patient timing and all that stuff so doctor session is a very great thing to manage your time so it get easy for your patient to book an appointment for them so for that we will select the doctor first then this time slot so time slot is the time that a doctor takes for a single patient like if he needs 5 minutes or 10 minutes for the patient then they can select according to that then we have morning session and evening session which you can add it is in the 24 hour format so if you want it you can change it to from the setting system will automatically set the time slot according to the minute you have given and you can also select the week days like how many days or all days the doctor is coming and just save the session and you can do it for all the doctors from here i am just quickly surpassing it so we can move further so the next thing is report which is for the pro version we will not talk much about it because it's in the pro i will just tell you that when you have multiple clinic the report is very important to understand the amounts and all that stuff so we have completed the setup and overview of the qvi care now let's take a look at the journey of the patient with the your clinic starting from appointment booking to clinic visit doctor encounter and billing system so it start with booking an appointment so for that you have to add this widget in your front end and with the qvi care it's so simple and easy to book an appointment so we'll just go into this section and choose a doctor for yourself you have the options so you can select one of them then you have the service you can just click and select it then you will select a session for it so you will select the date and the available time that is for your doctor you can select at whatever section you want then you can give the quick description about the problem that you have so doctor can understand it better and you will just click on next then you will fill your detail like the name and email address and all that stuff so we are just taking a dummy role for the patient that is heavy so i will just write that and register it here 
and you can see the confirmation details can be shown here and you will just confirm it and your appointment will be booked here now we will go into the patient tab and you can see we are into patient tab the Harry Jin and the first thing you can see is the calendar where your appointment can be seen and you can click on it and have the more detail about it then you have the home option which will be directed to your front end page that you have attached with it and it can take you there then the appointment section you can see that your appointment has been booked there is no encounter yet because you haven't attend your appointment now we will go into the admin tab and go into appointment and you can see the appointment can also be seen from here and it looks like there's the name then the service charge and all this stuff then you can see the appointment you can edit the appointment you can check in the patient from here this check-in can also be done from three different places like from the admin receptionist doctor too so as i told you it's a rule based system so you can do it from whatever part you want then you can also print the detail about it then we will go into the receptionist section which so you can see the dashboard here are two patients two doctors appointments and the revenue and you can see the name then you also can see the calendar where you can have the detail and there are more access to the receptionist than the patient because it's a role based system so you can change the detail from here like that then we will go into the appointment section and you can see there is an option to check in the patient you can also get the encounter, patient list, doctor list, service list and all that stuff in the receptionist too. Then you can go into the appointment and we will just check in the patient from here and just click on yes. And the patient will be checked in. So now let's move to the doctor's tab where we have the doctor Sasha Green. She has one patient, one appointment and totally one appointment and two services. You can also see the calendar where you can see the detail like just like the receptionist and patient. So we'll go into the appointment and you can see that. So the patient has been checked in by the receptionist. So it is just showing check out here. Now the doctor will like take patients notes and all that stuff in the encounter section. So we'll go into the encounter where it will show the detail of the clinic name, patient name and the date. Then you have the option to edit it. But firstly, we'll go into the encounter dashboard where you can see we have this dashboard in which you can write the problems that the patient is facing then we have the observation the doctor will write the observation that she has done in it then you can also add an extra note that you want you can add it however you want then we have the prescription section where the doctor can add the prescription for the patient which the patient can see afterwards so you can just write the name, then the frequency, duration and instruction and just save it there. So the prescription is added by clicking on the save. Then we have the option to email it to the patient or also add another description in it. So in the top section, we have the close encounter. So we'll just click on it and it will auto generate your invoice. In it, there is the service added already. But if you are giving any more service to the patient, you can add it from clicking here and it will be added into the charges. And you can also give the discount to your patient if you know them or anything. Then payable amount will be seen here. And below that, there is one section which is paid and unpaid. If the status is at the paid, then only the checkout will be done by the doctor or the receptions. So we'll select if it's done or it's unpaid. So we'll just click on paid and save and close the encounter from here. So you can see the encounter has been closed. You can see the status. Now we'll go into the reception tab and we will just check out the patient from here. So we'll just click on it and the patient will be checked out and it will be removed from the appointment section. But you can still see the encounter of the patient in all the modules. You can see now the dashboard has been a little bit changed like the revenue has been increased and the appointment is done so it's turned green here it was blue before so now we'll go into the patient dashboard and you can see the appointment has been done and in the encounter you can see the encounter the doctor has added and you can click on it and you can see the encounter and the prescription and you can also check the bill detail that is the invoice that you get and it can show the information about it you can also just have this emailed again to yourself if your SMTP is already set up in here. 
then we will go into the admin section and you can see the dashboard has been changed in it too like the information has been added and now you can also download that report in csv or any format that it is allowing so now let's move to the settings so i will just show you the overview of the settings because there will be a detailed video of each of the setting in our playlist so i will just quickly show you the settings the first setting is the general setting where you get multiple options of date formatting and all that stuff then your holiday where you can add the holidays for the doctor and patient and the clinic so this is the configuration setting where you can enable or disable your modules with that like if you don't have receptionist in your clinic you can just turn it off here and if you are the clinic where you only take the cash and you don't do uh, like online billing you can just turn it off from here too then the next is email template where you will get the template for the predefined emails that you can also add it but you can only use this queries that we have written you can change any other sentence in it then we have sms and whatsapp template which is only available in pro version if you buy it you will get the access to it then the patient setting we have the patient settings then you have the widget setting where you can change the color and all that stuff in your theme you can change the loader too then you have Google event setting, which is also available in the pro version. So you can just check out our pro version video and get the information about it. Then you have Google Meet add-on. You can also start the telemed service in our KiwiCare, but you have to buy a new, different add-on to it. So you can just add that and you will get the access to this also. Then we have the listings. So we discussed the specialization section where we added the new specialization directly in it. So this is the place where you can see them, you can remove it or change it and do whatever with it. So then we have the custom field. So in the custom field, you can add custom field to some part of the Kiwi can like the doctor or the patient. There is some limitation to it, but you can use it in different way. Like we will add a custom field in the doctor module. I will just quickly show you how to do it and you can go into doctor and check that out. So the next is pro settings. So you can just simply buy the pro version and get access to it in this section you will change the theme logo then you can also change the color and all that stuff you can remove this wordpress logo and also you can remove the license and edit yours if you want to make this more about your site you can just buy the pro version and it will help you more and explore it more and you also give you white label support you can just get contact with our team and they will help you with it so just if you want it you can go and have it then we have the payment section where we have two different payment gateway that is the PayPal and local system. But if you want the third that is WooCommerce payment gateway, you have to buy the Pro. You can check it out more about it in the Pro version. Then this last setting is about the appointment. You can change some of the settings for the appointment like appointment fill upload settings and all that stuff. You can just check it out and have it for yourself. And then you can see that we have this question mark next to the settings where we will be uploading the video about all the settings. You can check them out. Then we have get help option where you can have the option to see the videos and documentation to get help with small things. And you can also request for the new features in KiwiCare by just clicking on this. We will surely help you with it. So this is where we end our KiwiCare overview. You can launch your digital clinic with KiwiCare.